Hi, Julie Torrens here. Still have a cold, got my coffee, but the question has come up, Friends of the Library, and I thought, well, I can talk to you about Friends of the Library, what it is, what I do there, but let's look at the books I picked out today. So the first book I picked out was Frog Princess. This was something that was donated to the library. Um, it was a paperback, so it was, I think it was like 25 cents. Why did I pick the Frog Princess? Well, number one, uh, it was it was published in 03. So the book is 20 years old and it's got nice foxing, you know, the, the reddish colors around the edges. And it is a children's book. So it is not going to have bad words. When you're doing your art, if you think that people do not read it, the things that you use as a book page, they do. They not only read it, they'll tell you about it if it's got bad words. So I always caution people about the book pages you use. Make sure that they're, you know, friendly for all ages. And that's why I picked this book. Picked out a magazine. Magazine at Friends of the Library where I shop is 10 cents each. Harper's Bazaar, Vogue, and there's a a book, I think it's M, it's like E-M-M, -M, but I'm not sure. They are all friendly for doing um, pages and doing the transfers with your jelly plate and, you know, whatever the ink is. They also tend to have good contrast in many of their photographs. So, I mean, look at that. And so you can get some nice jelly prints if you're looking to do image transfers from magazines from those books. So that's why I grabbed the, the Harper's Bazaar. It was the only magazine there at the time, 10 cents. Then I picked up this Clematis, and I can't even say this, but it is a book, a flower book. I find flower books have the most remarkable photographs. Look, so if you're into journal making, which I am, or even if you're just looking for pictures to go in things like tags and what have you, you can you can harvest some just some beautiful, beautiful photographs from this type of magazine. Some photographs are larger, some are smaller, but look, if this is an eight and a half by eleven, it's pretty close. You can fold this in half, turn it into a journal page, and this can be, you know, half like here. So this picture can be half. And even though the orientation would be like this, it's still a beautiful picture that you can have in your junk journals. But there are many, many good pictures in magazine or in books like this that you can utilize. So that's why I got this one. This one was not um, a library book. It was donated and to the library. So this was a dollar. If they have the seal on them that they were a book from the library that the library was checking out and then they took it out of their out of their um, stash, then those books are 25 cents. But this was donated, so this was a dollar. Gardening with Perennials, same situation as the other book. Beautiful photographs that you can use in junk journaling and see, look. Beautiful pictures. Look at this one. Just gorgeous. So I like gardening books. See, I like things like this when I'm just using book page. But look, look, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? So that's why I pick books like this. So Gardening with Perennials is one. And then this one, Colors in the Wind. Again, it was not a library book. So all the books you're seeing cost me $3.60. And here, this book has, look, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful photography. Look. And to use in junk journaling, here's one that, again, could easily be folded in half and used as an art journal page. Another, two of them that could be used in junk journal page. Those are cactus flowers. Look at these. Look at this. So this is how, look at this. Look at this. 
So if I just sit here and, and try to talk about Friends of the Library, I think it could be boring, but I'll tell you a little bit as I just page through this and you can get some eye candy. Most libraries, now I'm, I only know them in the United States, have some type of book buying format. Either, either um, they call it Friends of the Library or they call it something else. But I'm going to just fix a cord here that is being hit by the books. So you can go there. Now, sometimes they just have events, like it'll be a weekend of Friends for the Library, and they'll lay out all the books. And maybe they do that three or four times a year. Other times, they, um, like my library, they just have a room, a small room, where you can go in anytime the library's open, and you can pick out books. Look at that word. Wouldn't that be beautiful? And then, look... And then you can get books. Now, sometimes these are books that are taken out of circulation from the library. And that's because they haven't been checked out for maybe five years. And then the others are often donated books. And you can get just some beautiful, beautiful photography. You can get books that you can use as book page. You can get books that you can just use as glue books. I mean, my library has a huge selection of books that would be fine to use as glue books and they're 10 cents, but we're giving them another life. Once they sit for a little while at your friends of the library, you know, these places do not have warehouses that they maintain. So they get pitched. So I'm just giving these books another life. That's how I see it. This book could easily just based on size it could be turned into an art journal. And I have videos on how to take a book and turn it into an art journal. But people have asked, well, why don't you just buy books from the dollar store? My experience with many, many books from the dollar store is that they have bad words. And again, people pay attention to those bad words. They'll tell you about them. Gayla Castanelli, there's a rabbit for you. Isn't it beautiful? I believe it's a hare. Look, so pretty. So yeah, I, I don't buy books from the dollar store. I go to Friends of the Library and I also go to thrift stores. Same thing. I'm giving them another life. So I hope this has encouraged you to check into your library and find out what system they have for selling books that they need to move along. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Please remember thumbs up and subscribe. Bye now.